Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how to extract phone numbers from the user response. So whenever we receive the response from our users through the form submissions, through the emails or from any other source, we receive the phone numbers in different formats. A lot of people submit their phone numbers in various different formats. Like some of them add their country code, some of them uh, use a zero sign or many of the users fill their uh, mobile numbers directly. But it becomes difficult for us to use those numbers while creating an automation. So in this particular video, we are going to learn how we can extract the phone number from the user responses. So here I have used the trigger application as Google Calendar to capture the user response. So here you can see the response has already been received over here. Need action steps for the telegram and here we have got the customer details, customer name as Adam Smith, his uh, email address and the phone number. So not only Google Calendar, you can use any trigger application over here to capture the user response. Okay. Now here we have got the phone number in the description. So we have to extract this phone number from this particular description. For that, let's scroll down, come to this action step and choose the application name as text formatter. Select the action event as text basic formatting. Click on connect. Now it is connected. Now here we need to map the string. So let us map the description from Google Calendar. Okay. So we have mapped the string over here. Now here in the transform we need to select extract phone number. So from this particular data the phone number will get extracted. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. And here in the result, we have extracted the phone number and we have got plus 91 that is India's country code along with the mobile number. So it may happen that you may get the response along with the zero or you may get only 91 or you may get only the phone number. For that, we are going to just apply the number format over here. So click on this plus sign, add action step. And here we are going to choose the application name as number formatter. Select the action event as spreadsheet formulas. Click on connect. It is connected now. Now here we need to give the formula. So I am just giving the formula as write. Then a bracket. And then we are going to just map the result that we have got from the text formatter. The phone number. And after that I am just going to give 10. So uh, this formula is going to read 10 digits from the right side. Okay. And let's close the bracket. And here we are using the formula as right and we have given the value as 10. So it is going to count 10 numbers from the right side and it will give us the result. And here it is also mentioned you can use any spreadsheet formula to get your results. So in place of this particular formula, if you want to use any other formula, you can check the full list over here by clicking on this particular option. That is check full list here. Okay, and now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we have got the result as only the mobile number is captured. Okay, so we can use this particular mobile number to map the values of mobile number in any application you want. So I'm just going to minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first I have taken the response of the Google Calendar over here. We have got the customer name, email address and the phone number all together. Okay, then we have used text formatter for extracting this phone number from the description and then we have used the number formatter and we have used the spreadsheet formula over here that is right and we have extracted 10 digits from the right side and in this way we have got the number over here that is the phone number and in this way we have learned that how we can extract the phone numbers from the user responses. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.